Hey, my name is Jeremy, and I'm going to show you how to level up any TikTok trend using my favorite video editing app, Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get to it. First up, we're going to just open up Premiere. Hey, there's my friend Elise. We're going to click New Project, and today I'm going to be elevating the Anything Can Be an Album trend. And I already organized all my footage under photos, sounds, and videos. It's very important in video editing to stay organized. And right off the bat, I want to check my sequence settings are right. So I'm going to go to sequence settings and check that I have a vertical aspect ratio with that, which I do 1080 by 1920. Perfect. Now that I have all the videos in order, I'm just going to chop them up. So they're quick and concise clips because I like to post videos that tell a story in the least amount of seconds possible so I can keep my audience entertained the whole time. Okay, now that everything is chopped up, I'm gonna throw the music in there and line it up with the videos. And while I'm chopping up these clips to the music, I know where I'm gonna put my album cover, which is right there. So I'm leaving a black space there for now. That's right where my album cover is. I'm gonna go frame by frame. I know it's right when the pizza box is touched the floor, so I'm gonna cut right there, and then I'm gonna resume with that clip right after the still frame, and just line it up with the music. So as you can see here, I lined everything up, and I put the photos in right where they needed to be, right when the beat drops, and then resumes to the video. My whole concept of this video, how to elevate this TikTok, was that the album cover would be an actual album cover, and I'd loop it back to the beginning of putting a CD in the CD player and playing the album through. And then one of my favorite features is to go to this button editor right here and add in the loop playback button and you can do that by dragging it right there. And now I'm going to click this and because I have it clicked it'll loop straight to the beginning. This playback button feature is clutch to make looping videos for TikTok. I mean look at this seamless loop. Beautiful. And for the last and biggest step, I'm going to add text to this trend because all the trends that I saw, it was just the album cover with the parental advisory at the bottom left. To this, we're going to add the parental advisory. We're going to add an album title and animate the text on the album cover, but also we're going to animate the parental advisory. We're just going to make it a little fun, and we can do that all in Premiere using keyframes. I named this album Constantly Clumsy because it was a nice little roll off the tongue and I'm dropping my coffee with the parental advisory down below. And for this one, I called it 30 minutes or less because that's how pizza should be delivered ideally. Under the effect controls, everything you need to position any image or graphic you have is all under here between position and scale and rotation. And the fun part is with the keyframes. That's how you animate it. So for this first one, I'm gonna animate it by having it fall from the sky and tumbling and turning in point. So I'm gonna click keyframe there, keyframe there, keyframe there. I make sure that the beginning of the clip is selected and my text slash graphic starting point is from outside of the frame. Then I go to the point where I want the text or graphics to stop moving and set another keyframe. All right, moving on to the pizza one. So seeing these pizza boxes fall, I just envision the parental advisory sticker to fall from the top of the pizza boxes down to the bottom left where it should be because that's where the pizza boxes also fall. Same thing for the bubble boy, we're gonna animate the text coming in from the left and the parental advisory coming in from the right and the loop. And there you have it. That's how I elevated a TikTok trend on Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's run it back one more time to see it in full. Peace.